Good morning everybody. My name is Zukifli. Thank you for attending today's session. I'll be presenting to you guys with regards to drugs and alcohol in the workplace. Session of life for today will be objectives, drug and alcohol and statistics, examples of main drug and alcohol types, how drug and alcohol abuse can affect your health, safety and well-being. Company's drug and alcohol policy, where to go for help, and last but not least, conclusion. The objectives. By the end of this session, participants should be able to state the percentage of drug and alcohol abusers who are in full-time employment in Australia, at least four areas of a person's well-being which can be affected by drug and alcohol abuse. State your responsibilities in relation to the drug and alcohol policy. And lastly, explain what will occur in the event of breach of the drug and alcohol policy. Statistics Recent data on December 2018 by Australian Institute of Health and Welfare stated that there is a significant increase in people consuming drug and alcohol. Approximately 62% of drug and alcohol abusers in Australia are in full-time employment. Alcohol is a contributing factor in approximately 6% of work-related fatalities in Australia. Other drugs contribute to approximately 3% of work-related fatalities in Australia. As you can see on the screen, these are different types of drug and alcohol. This is a second batch of examples with different types of drug and alcohol. How can drug abuse affect your well-being? It can actually affect all areas of a person's life. The family, the work, school, taking increased day off, higher chance of accidents or incidents due to decreased reaction times, inability to think clearly and maintain attention. Relationships, social well-being, financially, legally, physically and mental health will be affected. Drug and alcohol policy. Policy statement. Drug and alcohol abuse by employees will not be tolerated or condoned. It is the company's policy to maintain a workplace free from drug and alcohol abuse and its effect and commit the resources necessary to achieve this. Employees who engage in a misuse or abuse of drugs and or alcohol during work hours or at work related activities will be subjected to disciplinary action up to and including termination. And the last part, the last statement which everyone has to really take note and abide to, the company expects the full support of this policy by all employees and all persons doing business within the company. Drug and alcohol policy continuation, as you can see on the screen, all employees are prohibited from consuming any alcohol or illegal drugs during work hours or prior to commencing work so that an employee is not affected by alcohol or illegal drugs during work hours. Under no circumstances may you or any other employee who has consumed alcohol return to work if your or their work activities in any way may be affected by the intake of alcohol so that to cause danger to yourself others and harm to the company's reputation includes the operation of any mobile equipment particularly motor vehicles if you are required to take prescription drugs of any sort for diagnosed medical condition you must notify your supervisor of your requirement to take the drugs and whether they will have any side effects on your work 
if the medication has side effects, your tasks are to be analyzed and altered where required. If alternate duties are required but cannot be arranged, you are required to be sent home. Once you have stopped taking the prescription drugs, you need to notify your supervisor that the drug consumption has ceased. It will then be verified that you can return to your normal duties. If you've got a problem with drugs or alcohol, or know someone who does, please contact the Employee Development Officer Brian on 03-9703-9001 or alternatively, you can contact the Lifeline on 13114 or go online at www.lifeline.org.au Bear in mind, all approaches will be treated as strictly confidential with sensitivity and privacy. In conclusion, drug and alcohol abuse can lead to severe consequences physically, socially and emotionally. Drugs and alcohol and work do not mix. Remember that compliance with the company's drug and alcohol policy is non-negotiable. If you or someone you know has a problem with drugs and alcohol, do not be afraid to ask for help. Do you guys have any questions? If you think that you have little one, please just shoot me an email. Thank you so much for attending today's session.